the last class we learned the idea the geometrical meaning of zeros of a polynomial correct then we got the idea how to identify the number of zeros of a polynomial by using the graphical representation then after we discuss one more idea what is that how to identify the zeros of a polynomial in a graph correct how to we identify the zeros of a polynomial in a graph that is the x coordinate of the point where the graph intersect the x axis correct the next we go the next part of the chapter that one is a relationship between zeros and coefficient of a polynomial relationship between zeros and the coefficients of a polynomial then here i wrote one example example 2x square minus 8x plus 6 in 2x square minus 8x plus 6 then we know that what are the coefficients the coefficient of x square is 2 coefficient of x is minus 8 and the constant is 6 correct so here we are discussing the relationship between zeros of this zeros of a polynomial and uh, coefficients coefficient and zero the relationship between them correct so we already know that the about the what the coefficient the coefficients are 2 and minus 8 2 minus 8 is the coefficient of x and 2 is the coefficient of x square correct so next we need idea what is the zeros then first step is we need to find the zeros of this polynomial here we know the coefficients then the next we need to find the zeros of this polynomial correct so we know the idea of how do we find the zeros of the polynomial first to find the zeros of the polynomial we need to equate this given polynomial with zero correct then the first step is like this 2x square minus 8x plus 6 is equal to 0 then here in this is a quadratic polynomial correct here this one is a quadratic polynomial so how do we find the zeros of this polynomial that for finding the zeros of the polynomial we need to factorize this okay we need to factorize this so to factorize the polynomial we use the idea factorization method or splitting middle term method we learned in the last year how to factorize a quadratic polynomial by splitting middle term or factorization method correct the last year we learned the splitting middle term method i think you remember that one right then what is the general form of the quadratic polynomial the general form is a x square plus bx plus c correct the general form of quadratic polynomial is ax square plus bx plus c. Then as relate as equate this to this uh, given example, then what is the value of a? The value of a is equal to 2. Correct. Value of b, what is value of value of b? Value of b is minus 8. And what is c? C is 6. So for to splitting middle term or factorization method, what is the next idea? By using the factorization method or splitting middle term method, we find the values of product A into C. Correct. AC is equal to, what is AC? AC is equal to 2 into 6. 2 into 6. E is equal to 12. Next, we find the value of B. What is the value of B? Value of B is equal to minus 8. Correct? AC is equal to 12 and B is equal to minus 8. Then what is the next idea? The next idea is we need here one pair of numbers. Correct? One pair of numbers. That pair's product is 12 and sum is minus 8. The, that pair's product we need to 12 and sum is minus 8. That is very clear. The product is 12 means. The 12 means is a positive number. Correct? The product is positive means only the chance, only the chance, the both numbers are the same sign, either positive or negative. Okay, then what is the sum? The sum is no negative, correct? The sum is negative. The sum is negative means the both numbers sign are negative. Did you got it? 
इवडे वाला तो नमक के प्रोडक्ट आना प्रोडक्ट के पॉजिटिव आना अल एसी अंदर पर इन्द प्रोडक्ट के पॉजिटिव आना तो पॉजिटिव नंबर प्रोडक्ट आय कितना इंगला रण्डे नंबर मल्टीप्लिकेशन में आंसर पॉजिटिव आ गया ना इंगला अ मल्टीप्लिकेशन में रण्डे नंबर नेम साइन अंदर आय रिकना सेम आय रिकना मुन्ने के रण्डे पॉजिटिव आय रिकना अलग के रण्डे नेगेटिव आय रिकना कारण वी नो दैट इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई वन नेगेटिव वन वन पॉजिटिव आंसर इज नेगेटिव करेक्ट നമ്മളൊരു നെഗറ്റീവും പോസിറ്റീവുമാണ് മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുന്നതെങ്കിൽ ആൻസർ എന്തായിരിക്കും നെഗറ്റീവ് ആയിരിക്കും രണ്ട് പോസിറ്റീവ് നമ്പർ മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ആൻസർ എപ്പോഴും പോസിറ്റീവ് ആയിരിക്കും അതുപോലെ രണ്ട് നെഗറ്റീവ് നമ്പർ മൾട്ടിപ്ലൈ ചെയ്യുമ്പോൾ ആൻസർ എപ്പോഴും എന്തായിരിക്കും പോസിറ്റീവ് ആയിരിക്കും സോ ഹിയർ ദ പ്രൊഡക്റ്റ് ഈസ് പോസിറ്റീവ് സോ വി നോ വി ഗോട്ട് ദി ഐഡിയ ഓഫ് ദ ബോത്ത് നമ്പേഴ്സ് സൈൻ ആർ സെയിം ദൻ വി ചെക്ക് ഇറ്റ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ദ ബി ദ സം ബി ഈസ് മൈനസ് 8 ബി ഈസ് മൈനസ് 8 ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് നെഗറ്റീവ് നമ്പർ The product is positive. Sum is negative. Mean we got it. The both numbers are same sign. The sum is negative, so both numbers sign are negative. Both numbers sign are negative. Clear? Then next we check it. What are the chance to get the multiply? The product is twelve. Here the number multiply that number is twelve. Get them. Six, two, correct? Four, three. 12 1 these are the chance to get the product is equal to 12 then whose numbers whose pairs sum we we get the answer is 8 very clear the pair is 6 and 2 correct 6 and 2 so our pairs are minus 6 and minus 2 our pairs are minus 6 and minus 2 clear we got the numbers the pairs minus 6 and minus 2 Then why we use minus six and minus two for splitting the middle term? What is the middle term here? Minus eight x. Okay. So next step to convert minus eight x as the sum of minus six and minus two. Okay. So we write in the next step like this: two x square. Okay, two x square minus eight x we converting as the sum of minus six x plus minus two x. Okay. Minus 8x we converting as the sum of minus 6x and minus 2x. Minus 6x plus minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. Clear? Then if we pairing the first two, 2x square minus 6x first group plus minus 2x plus 6 is equal to 0. Then we take we take the common factor in out in the both bracket. Correct. We take the common factor in out in both bracket. Then what is common here? Here common is two and x is common. Then we take two x in out. Two x. Then what is remaining here? E x minus in six we take two out. Then what is remaining? Three plus. Then what is common here? Here is common. 2 is common we take the 2 only now 2 is common 2 into x minus x plus 3 e is equal to 0 correct then the next we check the inside of the bracket they are equal the numbers are equal here is x here is also x here is 3 here is 3 but the sign are different correct so if the sign only the different we just look the second bracket okay The second bracket of first sign, the first number sign is minus, second number sign is plus. That time we convert this plus as minus minus. How do we write minus minus? Because the plus is equal to minus minus. Now look like, now what we are going to do? If the other bracket has common number, we know. If we not get the common number, then we look what is the first number bracket? The first bracket is x minus three. The second bracket is minus x plus three. Minus x plus three. Okay. Minus x plus three means what is the difference? Here is the plus. X is plus. Here x is minus. Here is three is minus. Here is three is plus. Right. पागल याँ बो ये रंडा मतलब bracket ले अन्ना मतलब वाले बटने मुंबई में minus तो तो पर इधर symbol रंडे गिल. आ number ना sign plus सु मारे गिल. नम्बर चाहिए ना तो ये plus अन्ना पर इधर रंडा अन्ना नोट मिलेगा. We convert the plus as minus minus. Okay, plus in our case, we have minus minus because we got the minus two minus near 
then it will change as plus. Random minus other two will end by one. Plus I am also the next step is not necessary. It's possible to take directly. Okay, it's a first one. That's why I do it like this: 2x into x minus 3 plus 2 into minus x. Then how to be convert? Minus minus 3 is equal to zero. Okay. Then 2x, 2x. Into x minus three plus two. Then what is common in this bracket now? What is common? Here the first number have a minus symbol. Here also in front of the three have a minus symbol. That means minus is common in both numbers. Correct. The minus is common in both terms, so we take minus out. Then if we take the minus out, then what is remaining here? X. Here we have the two minus symbol. We take one minus in out. Then what is remaining? One minus is remaining and three is equal to zero. Correct. So now the both side of this plus symbol we got it x minus three is common. So the next step we take x minus three in out. X minus three into we take the x minus three out. Then what is remaining? Is x minus three? We take it out. What is remaining? Is here is remaining two x. Two x plus we take the x minus three in out. Then what is remaining? Plus minus two is equal to zero. Correct? Okay. The next steps. Therefore, x minus three into two x plus minus two is equal to zero means here we have the two terms. Okay, now our x minus three ne two x plus minus two under multiply mum zero kritta na mingela. Makale our end saath dar lal lunge kil x minus three anda aga zero aga. Alle gila two x plus minus two anda aga zero aga. So x minus three is equal to zero or two x plus minus two is equal to zero. Here we have the two terms. What are they? X minus three is equal to zero, or two x plus minus two is equal to zero. Is x minus three is equal to zero? What is x value? We transpose minus three to right side, correct? Uh, R vectors. Then what we get? X is equal to zero plus three. What is zero plus three? Zero plus three is three. The next two x, two x. Is equal to what is the changes? We transpose plus minus two to this side. Then what is happen? Zero minus minus two. What is zero minus minus two? That is zero plus two. Is equal to two. Then two x is equal to two. Therefore x is equal to two by two. Is equal to one. Correct. So we got it the values of x. The what are the values of x? The values of x are three and one. Therefore The zeros of a polynomial is equal to three. Then what are the zeros of polynomial? The zeros of a polynomial are three and one. I think you got it the idea of doing the work like this. Yeah. Now we got it. The zeros of the polynomial. The zeros are x is equal to three and x is equal to one. Correct. The next we add in the zeros. Okay. The sum of zeros is equal to sum of zeros. What is the what are what is the sum of zeros? The zeros are three and one. The sum is equal to three plus one is equal to four. Correct. The sum of zeros is equal to three plus one is equal to four. The next we find in product of zeros. Okay, product of zeros. The product of zeros. What is the product? Three and one are the zeros. Then the product means three into one is equal to three. So we got it. The sum of zeros is equal to three plus one is equal to four. And the product of zeros is equal to three into one is equal to three. Okay. The next, we stop it there. The next, we finding the value of minus b 
by a is equal to what is b what is the general form of quadratic polynomial the general form of quadratic polynomial is a x square plus b x plus c what is the general form a x square plus b x plus c a means the coefficient of x square b means the coefficient of x and c is a constant then what i find it here here i find the value of minus b by a then what is b b is the coefficient of x what is b value here that one is minus a what is a a is the coefficient of x square that one is 2 okay so next minus that one is minus b what is b b is minus 8 by a what is a a is 2 then minus minus 8 by 2 is equal to minus minus 8 is 8 8 by 2 is equal to 4 correct the next i am finding the value of c by a c by a what is c by a c c is a constant what is c here then what is 6 by what is the value of a the value of a is 2 then 6 by 2 is equal to 3 correct then just check the sum of zeros product of zeros and the values of minus b by a and c by a then we got it anything are equal here yes is very clear what are equal the sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a and product of zeros is equal to c by a correct the product of zero is equal to c by a so the relationship between the zeros and the uh, coefficients that one is like this the relationship is sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a and product of zeros is equal to c by a okay is a relationship between the zeros of a polynomial and the coefficients of a polynomial okay what is that the sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a what is b minus is already there okay what is the value of b b is the coefficient of x what is a a is the coefficient of x square okay then the product of zeros is equal to c by a what is c c is a constant and what is a a is a coefficient of x square is the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient of a polynomial what is the relationship sum of zeros is equal to c minus b by a and the product of zeros is equal to c by a you got it this idea correct now we got it the relationship between the coefficient and the zeros of a polynomial correct what is the relationship between them sum of zero is equal to minus b by a what is b b is the coefficient of x what is a a is the coefficient of x square correct then what is next product of zero is equal to c by a what is c c is a constant and a is the coefficient of x square correct that is the relationship okay so what is our first question the question is like this find the zeros of the polynomial x square plus 7x plus 10 and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient okay then here is the polynomial is what is the polynomial the p of x is equal to x square plus 7x plus 10 then first we need to find the zeros of this polynomial and verify the relationship also correct so first we finding the zeros of the polynomial so i started like this first we equating the given polynomial is equal to 0 x square plus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0 so we know that next we need to find the value of ac and b correct the product 
A into C and B value. So we are finding here what is AC. AC is equal to A means what is the coefficient of x square. The coefficient of x square is 1. What is C? C is 10. Then 1 into 10 is equal to 10. What is the B value? B value is 7. Correct? So what is next? Next we need a pair of numbers. Correct? We need a pair of numbers. We need a pair of numbers. Then that pairs product is equal to 10 and sum is equal to 7. That is the product of 10 and sum is equal to 7. That is the product of 10 and sum is equal to 7. That is the product of 10 and sum is equal to 7. That is the product of 10 and sum is equal to 7. That is the product of 10 and sum is equal to 7. That is the product of 10 and sum is equal to 7. That is very clear what are the numbers. The numbers are 5 and 2. Correct. 5 into 2 is 10. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. The both condition is satisfied. 5 and 2. So, the next step is splitting the middle term 7. X at the sum of 5 and 2. Correct. So, the next step is E is equal to or which implies X square plus 7X. How to write 5X plus 2X plus 10. E is equal to 0. Correct. Then what is next? Next we group the numbers X square plus 5x plus 2x plus 10 is equal to 0. Then what is common in the first bracket? The each term, what is common here? Here is only the common, that one is x. Then we take x out, x into, what is remaining here? If we take the x, 1x out, then what is remaining? x is remaining plus 5. Plus, what is common in the both? The common number is 2. Then 2 into x plus in 10 we take 2 out. Then what is remaining? 5. E is equal to 0. Now in the both side of the plus symbol what is common? The common is x plus 5. Correct? If plus and the the symbol will understand the pandana common and other inside the bracket x plus 5 is common. So we take x plus 5 out x plus 5 into if we took x plus 5 out then what is remaining x plus 2 is equal to 0. Correct? Then after what is the chances? Here we have the two chances x plus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Then x plus Therefore, x plus 5 is equal to 0 or x plus 2 is equal to 0. Is x plus 5 is equal to 0, what is x value? That is 0 minus 5, correct? 0 minus 5, what is 0 minus 5? Minus 5. What is here, x value? x value is 0 minus 2, what is 0 minus 2? That one is minus 2. Therefore, we got the zeros of the polynomials are x is equal to minus 5 and x is equal to minus 2. Correct. Then what is next? Next, the second question, what is that? Verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient. Okay. Then we do in the verification. What is first? Sum of zeros. Sum of zeros. This is equal to. What is sum of zero? What are the zeros? Minus 5 and minus 2. Then minus 5 plus minus 2 is equal to the both are negative so the sum is minus 7 correct minus 7 next product of zeros product of zeros is equal to what are the product minus 5 into minus 2 minus 5 into minus 2 is equal to correct then we, go, we find the values of sum of zeros and the product of zeros. Correct? Then what is next? Next we finding minus b by a. Minus b by a. That means the coefficient relation. Okay. Minus b by a. Then minus. First we want to put the minus symbol. Minus. Then what is the value of b? The value of b is equal to self. Correct? The value of b is equal to self. By. What is the value of a? a is the coefficient of x square. What is the coefficient of x square here? 1. Then minus 7 by 1 is equal to minus 7. 
the next c by a what is c c is a constant that means 10 by value of a is 1 then is equal to 10 the now is very clear the sum of 0 that is minus 7 minus b by a is also minus 7 product of 0 that is 10 c by a is equal to 10 correct then we got it they are equal then we write the verification as a therefore sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a product of zeros is equal to c by a okay that means in the time of verification we need to find out both are separate sum of zeros first find separate product of zero find separate then after minus b by a value c by a value we need to find the separate by separate everything then after we write they are equal that is the verification method you know that correct don't write directly sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a okay find the sum of zeros find the product of zeros find the c by a value find the minus b by a value then after equating them they are equal okay it's a method to find the uh, verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficient of a polynomial okay the next question is like this find the zeros of the polynomial x square minus 2x minus 8 and verify the relationship between zeros and the coefficients okay as the first we do the second question the polynomial is x square minus 2x minus 8 so we started like this the first we give a name p of x of x is equal to x square minus 2x minus 8 then we know that next we need to find the zeros of the polynomial so we equating this by 0 that is p of x is equal to 0 therefore x square minus 2x minus 8 is equal to 0 correct we equating the uh, given polynomial with a 0 the next we need to find the product and we need to write the sum correct then what is next ac is equal to ac ac means what is a value a value is 1 b value minus 2 c value minus 8 then next we find the values of ac a into c means 1 into minus 8 e is equal to minus 8 i think you got it this one a a is 1 b is the coefficient of x that is minus 2 c is constant that is minus 8 next for splitting the middle term we need to write the product a into c a c is equal to 1 into minus 8 is equal to minus 8 b is equal to minus 2 the coefficient of x correct so next we need to write a pair of numbers a pair of numbers that pair product is equal to minus 8 and sum is equal to minus 2 correct the product is minus 2 and sum is my uh, product is minus 8 and sum is minus 2 correct then the product is minus means the product is minus means in the pair we have two number then one number is negative okay the one pair uh, in a pair one number is negative because the product is negative and sum is also negative sum is also negative the sum is also negative means in that pair bigger number is negative okay then we have to say that 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 we have to say for product we first look the product okay that is the product for product negative we have to say that product positive we have to say that we have to say that okay product negative one angle the only one idea what is that in that pair in that group one number is negative i know number and the negative one product negative one angle the number the negative one the next we looking the sum what is sum sum is minus two the sum is also negative means the sum is also negative means the bigger number is negative Okay, negative. If sum is positive, the smaller number is negative. Clear? Sum is positive, smaller number is negative. 
Okay, the product is negative. Sum is also negative. In that group, bigger number is negative. The sum is negative. The sorry, product is negative. Sum is positive. Suppose sub, sum is positive. Which one is uh, negative? The smaller number is negative. Okay. So first we are writing what are the product? You get it uh, eight. That one is four into two. Correct. And eight one. Any other number? Any other number? No. Then now is very clear. The product is negative and sum is also negative. Then in that group, the bigger number is negative. Then next we multiply minus four into two is minus eight. Correct? And what is minus four plus two? Minus four plus two is also minus two. Minus four plus two is minus two. Minus eight into one that is minus eight. But minus eight plus one is minus seven, not minus two. So we fix. What is that group? The number is minus four two. What is that pair? The pair is satisfied. The both condition is minus four and two. Got it? So next, we splitting the middle term. What is next? Therefore, the x square. How to write? Minus four x minus two x is splitting. Minus four x plus second number two two. X to X minus eight is equal to zero. I think you got it. We split the minus two X as the sum of minus four and two. It's a minus two X, so minus four X plus minus uh, minus four X plus two X minus four X plus two X. The next step is pair the numbers. X square minus four X is first group plus two X minus eight is equal to zero. Then in the first group, the first pair, which one is common? The common is x. Therefore, x is equal to x minus 4x into. We take x out. Correct? X is common, so we take x out. Then what is remaining? X minus 4 plus. Here, what is common here? There is common 2. 2 is common in 2x and 8. So we take 2 out. Right? Is there another one common or another? 2x in the middle common is there? Two out, so we take two out. Then into x minus. If we take uh, from a, we take two out. Then what is remaining? Four equal to zero. Then now, what is common in the both side of the plus symbol? So now x minus four is common, correct? X minus four is common, so we take x minus four out. Into x plus two is equal to zero, correct? So now we have the two terms. What are they? Therefore, x minus four is equal to zero, or x plus two is equal to zero. Is x minus four is equal to zero? What are the values of x? The values of x are the values of x. What are the values of x? X is equal to We transpose minus four to this side. What do you get the value to x? X is equal to four. Correct? X is equal to four. Then here, what is the value of x? We transpose plus two to this side. Then what is the get? It's a plus two transpose in times zero minus two. What is zero minus two? That one is minus two. Then the two values of x, the zeros of this polynomial is x is equal to four and x is equal to minus two. Then what are X is equal to four, and x is equal to minus two are the zeros of the polynomial x square minus two x minus eight. Okay. Then what is next? Let me find the sum of zeros. Sum of zeros is equal to what are four plus minus two. What is four plus minus two? Four plus minus two is two. Then product of zeros is equal to what are Four into minus two. Four into minus two is equal to minus eight. Then what is next? Next we find the value of minus b by a is equal to minus. What is b value? B value is minus two, correct? Then minus two by what is a value? A value is one. Is equal to minus minus. What is minus minus? That one is plus. 
then 2 by 1 is equal to 2. Correct? That is equal to sum of 0. Then C by A. C by A is equal to, what is C? C is minus 8. 1 is equal to minus 8. That is product of 0. Correct? So we conclude the sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a product of zeros is equal to c by a okay sum of zeros is equal to minus b by a product of zeros is equal to c by a this is the verification question okay i think you got it this one i think you got it, the idea of the first two question that we go to the next type of the question the question is the same, find the zeros to the polynomial x square minus 3 and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficient. Okay, the question is same, but only the difference, the given polynomial is x square minus 3. Okay, it's not in the standard form of ax square plus bx plus c. Correct. So, the same idea, how do we start? We starting, given p of x is equal to x square minus 3 okay so first as usual we need to find the zeros of this polynomial okay we need to find the zeros of the polynomial then what is next we equate the given polynomial is equal to 0 therefore p of x is equal to 0 that is x square minus 3 is equal to 0 so how do we find this one here is not possible to use the splitting middle term method, correct? Because it's not have a middle term here, it's only two term. Okay. This type of question we apply the identity. We factorize this one by the identity. We done it the last year. We use the so many identities and we factorize the polynomial as like here. We have the only two term, correct? Only two term. And the term is separating by the symbol minus. And your first term in the form of a square. Correct? What are the things? We have only two terms. First term in the form of square. And the terms are separated by the symbol minus. Then it's very clear. We need to apply there the idea of third identity. A plus B into A minus B is equal to A square minus B square. You got it? Here, the first term in the form of a square and we have only two term and that term separating by the symbol minus then we need to apply or that one in the form of a square minus b square namaka thannirikkana polynomial la rendu term maatre ullu adil onnamatha term square inde form il aanu rendamatha term ne separate cheyina symbol minus maanengil nammal aadu apply cheyan identity edana we need to find the zero by using the identity a square minus b square. Okay, the given in the form of a square minus b square. Clear? Clear? Then, one polynomial term is a polynomial under term is one under term is one under term is square term. That is separated in the symbol minus one. We will apply the property of the area. Apply the end of property means apply the identity of a square the reverse of third identity a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b. The given the given equation, the given polynomial in the form of a square minus b square. Okay. Then before that, for apply, we need to apply the identity. Before that, you just check any number is common in the two terms. Any number is common. Okay. If every case is to apply the identity, the first you want to verify any term, any number is common there. It's common, you need to take out as usual. Okay. Here we check any term, any, any number is common here or any variable is common here. No, any common, any no common factor in the term x square and the 3. Correct. So we apply directly for that. First we convert the 3 as in the form of square. Other now, Apply the identity apply the amount number three in a the formula convert square formula convert a square minus b square formula convert to convert this equation completely in the form of a square minus b square then three is the square of 
we learned in the last year what is that 3 is the square of root 3 so next step is x square minus root 3 square is equal to 0 x square minus root 3 square is equal to 0 okay that means root 3 square is 3 so we convert or apply in the identity we convert the 3 as in the form of the square means root 3 square okay. identity apply the 3 a we convert the root 3 le convert the ok because if there is no other number if we multiply any other number twice we never get 3 right where any number we multiply we multiply the number 3 get the number of detail so this one now is in the form of a square minus b square correct a square minus b square what is a square minus b square yes a square minus b square is a plus b into a minus b a square minus b square is equal to a plus b into a minus b correct then a plus b into a minus b then here the product is zero mean we have two chance what are they x plus 3 is equal to zero or x minus 3 is equal to zero therefore x plus 3 is equal to zero or x minus x plus root 3 is equal to 0 or x minus root 3 is equal to 0. Here we have the two terms x plus root 3 is equal to 0 or x minus root 3 is equal to 0. If x plus root 3 is equal to 0, what is x value? We transpose plus root 3 to the right side, what is the changes? 0 minus root 3, what is 0 minus root 3? That is minus root 3. Here, what is the chance? x is equal to, if we transpose minus root 3 to the right, correct, then 0 plus root 3, 0 plus root 3 is root 3. Okay, now we got it, the values of zeros. What are the zeros of this polynomial? The zeros of the polynomials are x is equal to minus root 3 and x is equal to root 3. Then what is next? Sum of zeros. We find the sum of zeros. x is equal to sum of zeros is equal to what are the sum the zeros minus root 3 plus root 3 what is minus root 3 plus root 3 we know minus 2 plus 2 0 minus 3 plus 3 0 as usual minus root 3 plus root 3 that's also 0 product of zero product of zeros the product of zero what is the product of zeros minus root 3 into minus uh, minus root 3 into root 3 here we multiplying one negative and one positive so answer is negative correct one negative number and one positive number we multiply so answer is negative then we multiply root 3 into root 3 root 3 into root 3 means root 3 square what is root 3 square root 3 square is 3 root 3 into root 3 is 3 then minus b by a is equal to minus in this polynomial what is the value of b what is b actually b is the coefficient of x correct b is the coefficient of x but in this polynomial we are not have any term containing the variable x correct here we not have a term with x x in the every term illa is not have the x term means what is the coefficient of that a that x that is zero there is no term so is zero by what is a a is the coefficient of x square that one is one zero by one minus zero by one is zero okay we are not have a minus symbol because we know that zero is not considered as a negative is not considered as a positive so neither positive no and negative correct zero is not have any particular symbol for the zero then zero is zero okay it's not a minus zero by one we never write the minus symbol in front of the zero we never write the plus symbol in front of the zero zero is not considered as positive is not considered as negative then minus zero by one is zero okay then next one is c by a C by a c is a constant what is c here that one is minus 3 minus 3 by 
value of a is 1 then minus 3 by 1 is minus 3 then now we check what is minus b by a minus b by a is same as sum of 0 and what is c by a c by a is same as the product of 0 so we concluding therefore sum of zeros sum of zero is equal to minus b by a product of zeros to c by a okay then the reason is a one idea the question like this the term containing only two and the first term is a, a square term and the second term is a, and the one idea is the polynomial like this the polynomial containing only one only two term and the first term in the form of a square and the two terms separating by the symbol minus so every question like this we converting the uh, given polynomial in the form of a square minus b square okay a square minus b square so remember one idea he, what are the question when we converting all the questions in the form of a square minus b square that all the cases we always get the sum of zeros is equal to zero that is that all the cases minus b by b by a value is zero okay is it clear polynomial x square minus 3 Either the term is square term, random other term is separated in the symbol minus maya, nor a square minus b square formula convert it in a either polynomial a square minus b square on the formula convert it in a either polynomial sum of zeros, a lingle minus b by a the value on the part of the life of three irigum, zero irigum. Okay, in all the cases. The where we convert the polynomial in the form of a square minus b square for find out in the zero that all the cases the sum of zero is equal to zero that means the minus b by b by a value is zero okay I think you got it the verification question as like uh, first two question and the special type of question number three I think you got it all the ideas correct